Hey guys, welcome to the Night of the Week. Today we're going to be going over the Munter Hitch, which is a replacement for things like ATCs. If you are familiar with air traffic controllers in belaying, this is a great method to belay with nothing more than a harness and a lead carabiner. All right, so to tie the Munter Hitch, what I have set up here is just a lead carabiner in this piece of webbing just to simulate where you would be tying off onto on your harness uh, when you're belaying. So the first thing you'll do is you take your rope and you'll make a loop just like so and then you'll form a second loop like this and combine them. I'll go through that one more time. So I call this an underhand loop. It just kind of makes my, my brain think about the way that I twist this. So you're going to twist an underhand loop in that same direction again twist a second loop and then you just combine them and that's what you put onto your carabiner. So what this gives you now is the Munter hitch and what's great about it is it's reversible. So the main use is as a friction device for controlling descents during a belay but it can also be used to lower a load and also to prevent a fall. So in this case we have it used for belaying so as you'll see the, let's say the climber was hooked up to this side, you are now going to be able to control that descent like so. Then what's great about it is reversible. So if I were to just pull on the side that was, we we're using before, now it's going to be able to pull from the opposite side. So again, flip it, straighten it up, pull from this side, flip it, straighten it up, pull from that side. So it's very reversible in that sense that it could be used to, to belay from either direction, which is a nice feature of this. So the other thing that it's good at is that it can dissipate heat um, better than a belay device in my opinion, because no two surfaces of the rope are in contact um, with each other for more than an instance. So you can see that as this routes through, it does pass you know, against the against the sheath of the rope, but it's, it's, very, it's, uh, it's not ver for a very long time. Uh, same goes with the blade, blade device as well, just like the ATC. Um, but with this method, you have bends in the rope, and you know, obviously bends in the rope uh, create more friction on the, the outer sheath of a commandal style rope. So that's the other kind of disadvantage to that, and it can produce twists. So you know, if you're kind of not watching what you're doing like this, you know, it, it can get kind of twisted around if you're not in control um, of the actual munter itself. So that is the munter hitch. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday. And if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.